<clears throat> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. My Immortal Part Four. Chapter twenty-three. And da da fuck up, bitches. One er just jealous cause I got ten thousand rave ravios. One thanks to Raven for the help in telling me about the books. Girl or rock, let's go shopping together. The door opened, and Professor Rumbridge and Cornelia Fudge stomped out angrily. Then, Dumbledum and Rumbridge saw us. Mr. Way, what the beep are you doing? Rumbridge said, shouted angrily. Dumbledore blared her. Oops, uh, she made a mistake, he corrupted her. She means hi, everybody, come in. Well, we all came in angrily. So did all... The other students, I sat between Darkness and Draco and opposite Bloody Mary. Crab and Goyle started to make some morbid jokes. They both looked exactly like Vil Volo. I ate some Count Chocula and drank some blood from a cup. Then I heard someone shooting angrily. I looked behind me. It was... Vampire. He and Draco were shooting at each other. Vampire? Draco? WTF? I asked. You fucking bastard, yelled Draco at Vampire. I want to shit next to her, one. No, I do, shouted. No, she doesn't fucking like you, son of a bitch, yelled Draco. No, fuck you, motherfucker. She leaves me, not you, shouted Vampire. And then... He jumped on Draco. No, not in that way, you perv. They started to fight and beat up each other. Dumbledore yelled at them, but they didn't stop. All of a sudden, a terrible man with red eyes and no nose flew in on his broomstick. He had no nose and was wearing a gray robe. All the glass in the window he fell through fell apart. Brittany, that fucking prep, started to cry. Vampire and Draco stopped fighting. I st shopped eating. Everyone guessed. The room fell silent. Voldemort. Ebony. Ebony, Darth. Valor said evilly in his rasp raspy voice. Thou hast failed your mission. Now I shall kill thou, and I shall kill Vampire as well. If thou dost not kill him before then, I shall kill Draco too. Please don't make me kill him, please, I beg. No, he laughed cruelly. Kill him, or I shall kill him anyway. Then he flew away cackling. I bust into tears. Draco and Vampire came to con contort me. Suddenly my eyes rolled up, so they looked all cool and gothic. At a vision where where I saw some light, lighting flash and then Voldemort coming to kill Draco while Draco slit his wrists in a depressed way. No, I screamed sexily. Suddenly I locked up and stopped having the vision. Eb Ebony, Ebony, are you alright? asked Draco in a worried voice. Y yeah, yeah, I said sadly as I got up. Everything's all right, Ebony, said Vampire, all sensitive. No, it's not, I shot angrily. Tears of blood went down my face. Oh, Mifty, what if I'm getting possessed, like, in the ring, too? It's okay, girl, said Lady Mary. Maybe you should ask Professor Sinister about what the visions mean, though. Okay, bitch, I said sadly, and then we went. Chapter 24, and perhaps stop flimming the story or just jealous, so fuck you. Okay, go to hell, Eleven. Raven, thanks for the help. Well, we had deviation next, so I got to ask Profes Professor uh, Travelry about the visions. Konnichiwa, everybody come in, said Professor Sinister in Japanese. She smelled me with her gothic black lipstick. She's the coolest fucking t teacher ever. 
She had long, dead black hair with blood red tips and red eyes. HR mom, her mom was a vampire. She's also half Japanese, so she speaks it and everything. She and Bloody Murray get along great. She's really young for a teacher. Today she was wearing a black leather top with red lace and a long gothic black ripped dress. We went inside the black cl classroom with pastors of Emily the Strong. I raised my hand. I was wearing some black nail polish with red pantograms on it. What is it, Ebony? She asked. Hey, I love your nail polish. Where'd you get it? Hot Topic? Yeah, I answered. All the preps who didn't know what HT was gave me weird looks. I gave them the middle finger. Well, I have to talk to you about some things. When do you want to do it? How about now? She asked. Okay, I said. Okay, class. Fucking dim dismissed everyone, Professor Trowery said, and she let everyone go. Except for you, Brittany. She pointed at Brittany and some other preps. Please do exercise, get it? One on page three. Okay, I'm having lots of visions, I said in a worried voice. I'm so worried. Is Draco going to die? Well, she gave me a black crypt doll ball to lock in. I looked at it. What do you see? She asked. I said I see a black gothic skull in a pantogram. Suddenly there was a knock at the door. I looked at it. It was Draco. He was looking really sexy, wearing a black leather facet, a black gothic legion part t-shirt, and black congress shoes. Okay, you can go now. See you, cunt, said Professor Sinister. Bye, bitch, I said, waving. I went to Draco and Vampire was sitting next to him. We both followed Draco together and I was so exhibited. Chapter 25 And stop flaming- Okay, if you do not then ill, tell Justin to bet you up. 1111 one, one, one. In ill tell all the reds to put virtues in her computer. 1111 one, one, one. Fuck you, one raven fangs for to help one. I was so excited. I followed Draco, wondering if we were we are going to do it again. We went outside, and then we went into Draco's black car. Ebony, what the fuck did Professor Trellory say? Whispered Draco, potting his gothic wood hand and with the black nail polish on mine. She said she would tell me what the visions meant tomorrow, I grumbled in a sexy voice. He took out a hair on the cabaret and spiked it, and gave it to me to sport. He started to fly the car into a tree. We went to the top of it. Draco put on some MCR. And all the things that you never told me, and all the smiles and ever gonna haunt me, saying Gerard's sexy voice. We started tiling of each other's clothes fervently. He took off my black thong and my black leather bar. I took off his black boxers. Then he put his throbbing you-know-what in my tool sexily. Oh, MFG! Draco! Draco! I screamed, having an orgasm. We stated, frenching passively, suddenly, I fell asleep. I started having a dream. In it, a black guy was shooting two gothic men with long black hair. No, please don't fucking kill us, one, they pleaded, but he just kept shooting them. He ran away in a red car. Oh no, oh my fucking god, Eleven, I shouted in a scared voice. Ebony, what's wrong? Draco asked me as I woke up, opening my icy blue eyes. I started to cry, and tears of blood went down my face. I told Draco to call Vampire. He did it with his black Lickin Park mobile. But the worst thing was who the people who were shot in the dream were. Lucian and Sirius 111. Chapter 26. And preps sit up Flemin's the story, okay, one? If you do not lick the story, then go fuck yourself, you fucking 
prep. You suck. 111. Oh, why? And I wasn't being racist, okay, 11? A few mutates later, Vampire came to the tree. He was wearing a black leather jackson, black leather pants, and a good trollet t-shirt. Hi, Vampire, I said flirtily as I started to sob. Draco hugged me sexily, triumphed to comfort me. I started to cry tears of blood and then told them what happened. Oh, fuck it. Vampire shouted angrily. He forced her to cry sadly. What fucking did, did that? I don't know, I said. Now come on, we have to tell Dumbledore. We ran out of the tree and into the castle. Dumbledore was sitting in his office. Sire, our dads have been shot, Draco said while we whipped some tears from his white face. Annaby had a vision or a dream. Double odor started to cockle. <laughs> and how do you expect me to know Ebony's not divisional? I glared at Dumbledore. Look, motherfucker, he said angrily as Dumbledore gasped. See, is the toot of Cracter. You know very well I'm, that I'm not decisional. Now, get some fucking people out there to look for Ceres and Lucian. Porn tell. Okay, he said in an in intimative voice. Where are they? I thought about it. Then, all of a sudden, London, I said. I told him which street. He went and called some people and did some stuff. After a few mistunes, he came back and said people were going out looking for them. After a while, someone called him again. He said that they had been found. Draco, Vampire, and I all left to our rooms together. I went with Draco to wait in the nurse's office while Vampire went to slit his wrists in his room. We looked at each other's gothic, derp-pressed eyes. Then we kissed. Suddenly, Sirius and Lucian came in on stretchers. And Professor Sinister was behind them one. Chapter 27 Vampires Will Never Hurt You. <coughs> hey, Anne. You know what, 111? I do not give a fuck what you perhaps think about me, 111. So stop flimming the fucking story, bitches, 111. Thanks to Raven for your love and support and help. I love you, girl. Saws. I couldn't update. Lol. I was really depressed and I slid my wrist. I had to go to the hospital. Raven, you rock, girl. Everyone in the room stated to cry happily. I had saved them. Draco, Lucian, Sirius, Bond. Vampire all came to hug me. Then I started to give them medicine. Come on, Anobi, said Professor Sinatra. She was wearing a gothic black leader dress with a corset top and real vampire blood on it and fucking black platinum boots. I have to tell you the fucking perdition. I locked at Lucy and Seraph Strike and Vampire. They nodded. I smelled happily and went into a dark room. I changed. Professor Sinister took out some black cars. She started to look into a black crucible ball. She said, Tara, I see drac times are near, she said badly. She peered into the balls. You see, you must go back in time. She took out a time toner like Bloody Mary had. When Voldemort... Voldemort was in Hogwarts before he became powerful. He got his hearth broken. Now, do you think he would still become Volksamore if he was in love? I shook my head. You must go back in time and seduce him is the only way. If he is still evil, then you must kill him. You can come into my room tomorrow and you can do it. Okay, I said sadly. We did Death's Touch Sin. I went outside again, sadly. What fucking happened? asked Draco and Vampire. 
Yeah, what happened? asked Darkness, Willow, and Boldy Mary. I was about to tell them, but everyone was there. They were celebrating Lucian and Sirius being fond. Everyone was proud of me, but I just wanted to talk to Draco. They were cheesing my name, and some reporters were there, trying to interview Dumbledore. A banner was put up. Lots of fucking preps were there, obviously trying, trying to be gothic, wearing the him sign on their hands, despite them not having actually heard of him. Even Mr. Norris looked happy. A black and red cake had been brought out. Crab and Goik set up some fireworks and the shape of skulls from Wesley's wizard devices. I put on my invisibility cloak with Vampire and Draco and we sneaked outside together. Chapter 28 And I said stop to flame flaming the story. It was a miscat when Professor Rillery said that, okay? One one one. one. Go to fucking hell, one one and one. You suck. Thanks to Philly for the help. One. Raven have fun with Kiwi. One 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 one. We went into a black room. The walls were black with portraits of gothic bands like MCR, GC, and Marilyn Manson all over them. A big black coffin was in the middle. Red velvet lined the bo black box. There were three chairs made of bones with real skulls in them. I was wearing a black corset bar with purple, purple stuff on it, fishnet suckings, and a black leather thong underneath. I sat down one of the chairs disper dispersedly. So did Drinko and Vampire. Are you okay? Vampire asked, potting his alabaster hand on mine. He was wearing black nail polish. I was wearing black nail polish with red crosses on it. Yeah, I guess, I said sadly. Draco also put his hat on mine sexily. I smiled sadly with my black lipstick. The problem is, I have to seduce Volksamort. It'll have to go back in time. Draco started to cry sadly. Vampire hugged him. It's okay, Eb Ebobby, he said finally. But what about me? You're not gonna break up or anything, are you? Of course not, I gasped. Really? he asked. Sure, I said. We Frenched sexily. Vampire looked at us longingly. Then I took off Draco's MCR shrift and seductively took off his pants. He was hung like a stallone. He had replaced the vampire tattoo that said Enneby on it. Black roses were around it, I gasped. He looked exactly like Gerard Way. Vampire took a video, video camera. I had said it was okay before. I took off my clothes, then we were in for the rid of our life. Lif. We started frenching as we climbed into the coffin. He put his spock in my you-know-what, and passively we did it. I love you, Eppleby. Oh, let me feel at you. I need to feel you, he screamed as we got an orgasm. We watched Vampire filmed everything perfectly. Suddenly, what the fuck are you doing? It was Snow and Professor McGoggle 111. Chapter 29 And sot das fuck up 11. You're just jealous cause your preps, so fuck you. 111 Raven, you rock girl, fangs for the help. MCR rock 666111. Okay. Oh my Satan one, we screamed as we jumped out of the coffin. Snap and Professor McGoonagall started to shoot at us angrily. Come now, one, Preacher McGongill yielded. We did guiltily. We left the room, putting on our clothes. Snoop carved the caramel and put it in his pocket. Hey, what the fuck? 111, Vampire shooted angrily. 
Yeah, Buster, what the fuck are you going to do with the fucking camera? Draco de demanded all protective. Look at me lonely with his re gothic red eyes. Look, Dumbledore knows your little secret, and if you do this again, then you will go to St. Mango's. So give back the camera. One, 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 one. <laughs> the mystery of magic thinks he is crazy. There is no way they will believe him. Snoop laughed meanly. Yes, so shut your mm, puff, you in all s in low scent fools, yelled Professor McGoggle. She made us come into a weird room with white shoes on stones all around it. There were all these weird tools in it. Draco started to cry all sexy and sexitive. Get it cause he is a sex bum lol Tom fell not rules for lift, but not as mooks as Gerard, your sex on legs. I love you. You fucking rock, marry me. 111. I started to cry tears of blood. It happens when Vramper Chronicles Revan said, So, okay, so fuck you, one vampire took out a black handkerchief and started to wipe my red eyes. And then he and Snoop both took out guns using magic. They start to shoot each other angrily. None of the bouts got on each other yet. I took out my wand. Cross you, I shouted. Snap stated to scram. He dropped the gun, but it was too late. Both of them had ran out of bullets. I stopped a curse. Professor McGoogle did a spell so that we were all chained up. She took out a box of tools, then she said, Okay, Cerberus, I'm going to go now. She left. Snap started to laugh evilly. Vampire started to cry. It's okay, Annabi, said Draco. Evergreen will be alright. Remember the city you took of Snake? Snape laughed again. And then he took out some whips. One, 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 one. Chapter 30 and stop flaming the story, okay? You do not know what's even gonna happen, okay? 111, so full you, 111. If you flam, you will be a prep so all flammers can kiss my ass, 111. So as for saws, saying Alzheimer's is dangerous, but that's the mysteries opening cause society basically sucks. Fangs to Raven, you rock, bitch, 111. No, Eleven, we screamed sadly. Snap stayed loafing meanly. He took out a camera anvilly. Then he came towards Darko One. He took some stones out of his pocket. He put the stones around Draco and knit a candle. What the fuck are you doing? I shouted angrily. Snoop laughed meanly. He pulled down his pants, I guessed. There was a dork mark on his you-know-what, Eleven. He waved his lawn wand and a knife came. He gave me the knife to me. You must stab Frompire, he said to me. If you don't, then I'll wrap Draco one. No, you fucking bastard, one I yielded. But then Draco looked at me sadly with his evil gothic red eyes that looked so depressant and sexy. He looked exactly like a pentagram. Well, get it, cause I'm a Satanist. Between Kurt Cobain and Gerard. But then I looked at Vampire, and he looked so smexy too with his gothic black hair. I thought of the time when we screwed, and the time I did it with Draco and Doubly Door came, and the time where Draco almost committed suicide, and Vampire was so sportive. Snipe laughed angrily. He started to pray to Volk some more. He started to do an incapacitation, dancing around the stokes with being Draco and Vampire. Suddenly, an idea I had. I closed my eyes, and using my vampire powers, I sent a telepathic message to massage to Draco and Vampire so they would destruct Snape. Dumbledore will get you, Draco shooted. Yeah, just wait up till the mystery found out, Eleven Vampire yelled. Meanwhile, I took out my wand. 
You ridiculous thunderhead, 111 Snoop yielded. He took off all of Draco's clothes, just as he was about to rape him. Crucio, I sh shied, shied, pointing my wound. Snoop scrimmed and started running around the room, scrimming. Meanwhile, I grabbed my black mobile and sent a text to Ceres. I stopped doing Crucio. You thunderhead, 111. I'm going to kill Shoot Snape, but suddenly Severus came. Snake put the whip behind his back. Oh, hello, Sev. I was just teaching them something, he lied. But suddenly, Lucy and, Pro and Professor Tellery came into the room, and they said they and Sirius unlocked the chains and put them around Snap. Then Professor, Professor Travelry said, Come on, Ebony, let's go. Chapter 31 And I said, Shut the fuck up, you quiffs. Stop calling Ebony and Mary Sue, okay? You do not even know what's going to happen, so fuck you, 111. Thanks to my BFF Raven for the help, 111. I always knew you were on Voldemort's sign, you son of a bitka. Boofy rocks, 111, Sirius said to Snape. No, I'm not. I was teaching them something, one snap clammed. Oh, fucking yeah. I took some black Voldemort serum out of my pocket and gave it to Severus. He made snap drink it. He did angrily. Then Lucius took out a tape recorder and started playing it. Well, he did curses on Snap. Then Professor Sinister and Lucian made us get out with them while Snape told us his sec secrets. Secrecies. Whatever. Lucian took Vampire and Draco to the nurse after thanking me a million times. Professor Trevelry took me to, to a dark room. Now I was going to go back in time to Sedos Volksamort. Moving posters of NCR and... Nirvana were all over. Hermione, Darkness, and Willow came too. Bloody Mary gave me a black bag from Tom Ridd's store. What's in the bag? Asked, asked, I asked Professor uh, Trevelry. You will see, she said. I opened the bag. And it was a sexy, tight, low smut black leather gothic dress. It had red corset stuff, and there was a slip up the leg. I put it on. My friends helped me put on black fishnets and black pointy boots Willow had chosen. Willow and Darkness helped me put on black eyeliner and blood red lipstick. You look so... you look fucking kawaii, bitch, Bloody Mary said. Thanks, I said. Okay, now you're going to go back in Tim, said Professor Sinister. You'll have to do it in a few sessions. She gave me a black gun. I put it in a strap on my fishnets, like in Red Disna Evil. Then she gave me a black time tuner. After an hour, I used the time tuner to, her to go back here, Professor Trevely said. Then she and Bloody Mary put on, put a pensive in front of me. Everyone went in front of it. Good luck, one. Everyone shooted. Darkness and Willow gave me thus touch sin. And then. I jumped sexily into the pensive. Suddenly, I was in front of the school. In front of me was one of the sexiest goth guys I had ever seen. He was wearing long black hair, kind of like Mikey Wikey, only black. He had grand eyes like Billy, Joel Armstrong, and pillwood skin. He was wearing a black ripped up suit with fans. It was Tom. Bobo Dill, one on one. Chapter 32. And I said, Stop flimming. I know his name isn't Tom Bodil. That was a mistake. One on one. If you do not like the story, then you can go screw yourself. One 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 one. You suck. One 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 one. Hi, I said flirtily. I'm 
in ebony way the new student i shock my pale hands with their black noil polish with him the name's tom he said but you can call me satan that's my male man we shock hands well come on we have to go upstairs satan said i followed him hey satan do you happen to be a fan of grande since mcr and even even Nezens don't exist yet, then? I asked. Oh my fucking god. How did you know? Satan gasped. I actually like GC a lot, too. Get it, cuz GC did that song, I Just Wanna Live. That sounded, sounded really 80s. Oh, me too, I replied happily. Guess what they call it. Guess what, they have a concert in Hogsmeade, Satan whispered. Hogsmeade? I asked. Yeah, that's what they used to call it. In this time, before it became Hogsby in 2000, he told me all secretively. And there's a really cool shop called Hot Topic. I finished happy again. He frowned confusedly. No, it's called Hot Issue. He smiled secretively again. Then in 1980, they, they changed it to Hot Topic, he moaned. Oh, now everything was making sense for me. So is Dumbledore your principal? I shouted. Uh huh. He looked at his black nails. Emma Slytherin. Oh my gee, sh me too. I shrugged. Kid. You go to the skull. Get it? Cause I'm gothic. Yes. Ah, that's why I'm here. I'm new. I smelled happily. Suddenly, Dumbledore flew in on his broomstick and started shredding as angrily. No talking in the halls. He had short blonde hair and was wearing a polo shirt from American Ogle Outfitters. Stupid goths. Satan will design. He's so mean to us goths and pucks just because we're in Slytherin we're not preps. I turn around angrily. Actually, I think maybe it's because we're the Bark Lord. Oh, yeah, I asked, he asked angrily. Oh, nothing, I said sweetly. Then suddenly, the floor opened. Oh, my you know, I, I screamed as I fell down. Everyone looked at me weirdly. Hey, where are you going? Uh, Satan asked as I fell. I got out of the hole, and it was a it was back in the pensive in Professor Trowry's classroom. Dumbly Dumb was there. Dumbledore, I think I just met you, I said. Oh, yeah, I remember that, Dumbledore said, trying to be all gothic. Sinister came in. Hey, this is my class, don't wait. Don't we, Jeff? Envy, what the hell are you doing? Um, I looked at her. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Don't we teach how? Uh, I screamed, forgetting she was a teacher for a second, but she suck off, so it's okay. First, her sinister looked sad. Um, I was drinking Voldemort serum. She started to cry black tears of depression. Dumbly Dum didn't know about them. Hey, you're, are you crying tears of blood? He asked, curiously touching a tear. Fuck off, we both said, and Dumbly Dum took his hand away. Professor Sinister started crying again in her chair, sobbing limpid tears. Oh, my gee, I mean, be, I think I'm addicted to Voldemort serum. And see, you fucking preps, go fuck. Your silks, that's serious issues. Go to... To go to hell, one, 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 two. 